Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you three easy designs for fall. So the first design is this kind of French manicure-ish thing with dots and lines. So for all three designs, I am starting off with a base coat and I'm using this peel off base coat by UNT. Next I'm applying two coats of this deep berry color. I am using What's the Hatter with You by OPI. Now with a large dotting tool and white nail polish, I am using White On by Sally Hansen Hardest Nails Extreme Wear. I am making three dots, one in the middle, one on the left side, and one on the right side. Then I'm going to take a white striper polish and create lines in between those three dots and on the sides of those dots. Next I'm taking this gold holographic glitter nail polish which is Royal Chapel by Fun Lacquer and I am creating smaller dots inside of those larger dots. Wait for everything to dry and see your design with a top coat. For all of these designs I am using Sally Hansen Insta Dry Top Coat. The second design is this orange and white dotacure design. Once again, I am starting off with my base coat. Now I'm applying one coat of this sheer jelly nail polish, which is Orange by Essie. Now with a large dotting tool in a white nail polish, I am creating a few dots on my nail and then I'm applying one coat of my sheer jelly nail polish over that. So now I'm just going to keep repeating that process and layering the dots and the nail polish over it and it's going to create this cool kind of gradient dot effect. So even though I don't support the whole early fall thing, because technically it's still summer and fall hasn't started yet, I wanted to get these nail designs out because I'm actually low-key excited for fall. Like before, wait for everything to dry and see your design with the top coat. So the third and final design is this braided design. And obviously I am starting out with a base coat. Now I'm going to be alternating between three different nail polishes. The first one I am using is this dark plummy purple. It is Oh Suzy Mio by OPI and I am just making a little diagonal line across my nail. Now I'm using this gold nail polish which is Pot of Gold by e.l.f. and I am making another diagonal stripe but going in the opposite direction as the first one. And the third color I used was Extraordinary by Formula X for Sephora and with this one I am following the end of the first line. So now I'm just going to alternate between the three nail polishes and I'm going to go along each of the following line. It's kind of hard to explain so you just have to watch to understand it but it's going to end up having this really cool braided design. This design was actually one of the very first nail designs I have ever done. If you go to my Instagram, which is shelbyberry7, in case you're wondering, just a little self-promo there, and you go all the way to the bottom of my page, you will see this nail design, but with different colors, and it was very bad because it was one of my first. Also, I'm sorry if I sound a little weird because I have been sick for the last week. There has been this really bad cold going around like everywhere and I got it and I'm so sick. I feel awful, but I am starting to get over it. So with this design, unless you use Simply Peel or another latex barrier, you are bound to get some nail polish around your nail on your skin. So that's perfectly fine. Just take a makeup brush and some nail polish remover and clean it up. 
And as usual, you want to wait for everything to dry and seal your design with a top coat. If you want different colors, you can always change them to ones you prefer. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any new nail ideas, and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Bye!